Pop quiz, you guys, and if you don't know this, I'm going to have to ask you to stay after class. It has 184 million people currently using it. It is a web browser, and it's totally free, and is maintained by the Mozilla Corporation. Maybe this will help. Any guesses? Any guesses? That's right, it's Mozilla Firefox. Um, 75% of people use this guy up here, but you may know that its wonderful secure counterpart is actually an open source program. So number one was Firefox, and now I'm going to show you four other open source or free programs that can do everything that your paid software can do and more. So let's launch into it. This will allow you to create tables to write documents for homework assignments. Uh, its paid counterpart is this guy right here, Microsoft Word, and will actually let you export in Microsoft Word format. And this baby is called Open Office. Did I mention you can also create spreadsheets and PowerPoint compatible presentations with it? Okay, so a lot of us already have Open Office installed on our computer because let's face it, we geeks are not going to drop $150 on something that will just let us write a letter to our grandma. So I thought I'd explain, because I've been throwing this term around a lot, uh, what open source actually is. Open source generally refers to software that is released, including the source code, with no restrictions on downloading, modifying, or advertising the work. An open source program usually starts when developers publish their code where other developers can learn about it, download it, and play with it. As you can see, an example of where developers put their code is SourceForge. Now that we have a little clearer picture on what open source means, I'd like to delve into number three. This, speaking of pictures, will help you edit photos, modify them, create animated GIFs, you can morph faces, you can do pretty much everything that Photoshop can do. And since I don't know a single soul who doesn't know about Photoshop, I'd like to show you GIMP. Time for the sexy name. The GNU Image Manipulation Program, or GIMP, is much smaller and faster than Photoshop. You can clone, add filters, mess around with layers, and you can use it on Windows, Linux, or Mac. It cost us absolutely nothing, and we're editing photos, and we're writing documents like it's going out of style, and all this is getting to be kind of exhausted, and we want to talk to our friends. Well, we have an open source program that can do that, and that's called Pigeon. You can use your Yahoo Messenger, AOL, uh, MSN, ICQ, the list goes on and on, and you can manage all of these at the same time, so you can have a huge mass conversation going on while you're doing everything else for free. Oh yeah, and I almost forgot, Pigeon is also cross-platform, so whether you have Windows, Linux, or the Mac, you can still use it. So while you were talking with your buddies on Pigeon, they sent you a video for you to edit, knowing that you had Sony Vegas Pro. So you were going to edit the videos, you were going to splice them all together, and you find out that you don't have the disc, and it's going to cost you $600 to get a new copy of Sony Vegas Pro. Well... You're in luck. There is a software open source again called KDN Live, and it's going to help you do almost everything that you can do in Sony Vegas, including adding titles, transitions, and pretty much anything under the sun, so your video can still be edited. KDN Live is available for Linux and, well, Linux. Wait, 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 wait. I see what you did there. KDN Live is for Linux and you have Windows, so what are you going to do? Well, you could install Linux, or you could download a Vinamux, which is much like Windows Movie Maker, except it's more stable, and it will definitely help you quickly and easily get that video to your friends. So, as you can see, open source is the clear winner here, and it definitely helps create a good support system in the software community. So if you like open source, let me know what your favorite program is in a comment or video response below. I'd love to hear from you. Talk to you later. Bye.